Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy, simple enchilada sauce. As you can tell, I like spicy, as I have all these yellow bird baby sauces here in my hands. And the thing is, enchilada sauce is actually not that hard to make. It has a lot of ingredients, but they're usually things you don't have on hand. So I'm gonna show you how to make a simple, delicious enchilada sauce using hot sauce. Let's get to it. Okay, so just so you know, we're not gonna use all of that hot sauce in the recipe. We're actually just gonna use the yellow bird jalapeno sauce. The first thing we're gonna start out with is a vegetable broth. So just go ahead and add that in. We're gonna add in some tomato paste. So next we're gonna add in our yellow bird jalapeno sauce. And so here's the thing about hot sauce and turning it into an enchilada sauce. Hot sauce, the thing that I love about it is spicy. It has that vinegar, which gives it a really nice acidity and a tang, but you don't want as much of that in an enchilada sauce like you do in a hot sauce. So we're actually gonna add some sugar to this, just enough to like kind of slow the roll on the vinegar flavor and kind of balance it out and make it more of an enchilada sauce than a hot sauce. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our sugar. So now I'm just gonna whisk those ingredients together and bring the mixture to like a low simmer over a medium low heat. Once that starts to simmer, we're actually gonna use that liquid and we're just thickening it up with a little bit of flour. So I'm using this little kind of coily flat whisk and this is actually one of my favorite uh, whisking tools. Because it's flat, it scrapes everything that's on the bottom. You know, the traditional shaped whisk is wonderful, especially if you're like whisking eggs. It really works well with things that have a sort of consistent viscosity. But um, if you really need to mix ingredients together that are sort of different in that sense, um, this is just really great for like getting everything incorporated. Okay, so we're gonna thicken our sauce with a little bit of flour. Now, the thing that's really important when you're actually thickening sauce is you wanna take the flour and slowly add some of the broth or whatever it is that you're thickening to that flour and kind of create a paste and work that until it's just equally consistent. Then take that paste and add it to the thing that you're thickening. If you drop the flour into the liquid, that's where you get all the like clumps. So this will actually help you avoid that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at first and just mix that together. Add a little bit more. Now you can still get some clumps with this method, but it's really easy to whisk them out. It won't be as many. That yeah, looks really disgusting, but it works well. Okay, so the sauce is at a low simmer, so we're gonna start to work in the flour mixture. Like I said, I'm gonna use my flat little whisk here. It's important to whisk it while you're adding in the flour stuff. So fully whisk it and make sure it's all incorporated. And then you're gonna bring it up to more of a roaring simmer because you really wanna make sure that you cook that flour. If you don't, it's gonna kinda have like this doughy taste to it. So you wanna let it cook for at least a couple minutes at a roaring simmer, and then it'll be nice and thick and ready to go. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, so it's starting to simmer now. Um, you can kind of tell from like the way that the bubbles are kind of roaring that there's now a little bit more viscosity to this mixture because of the flour. So we're gonna let it cook for just a couple minutes just to cook that flour so it doesn't have any sort of doughy taste to it. And then, you know what, that's it. Boom, we have enchilada sauce. I think it's ready, I'm gonna give it a try. It smells so good. It's also really hot, I know I'm gonna burn my tongue, but I also don't wanna wait. <laughs> ah, perfect. Super simple. If you're a hot sauce lover and you have hot sauce in your house, this is a great, easy, simple enchilada sauce to make. Also, you should check out Yellowbird because I love their hot sauces. This one's really wonderful, this jalapeno sauce. My favorite is their sriracha one. There's lots of really good ones. Definitely check them out. Um, if you like this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. And I release new cooking videos every week, so if you like to cook like I do, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.